hi guys welcome to sagaciously beautiful this is a collab video i'm collaborating with prema from frosting and fashion so here i'm going to show the makeup look which is this beautiful emerald golden look and she's going to show the outfit for the same as a first step i'm applying foundation and concealer to prepare a clean base uh, i'm going to list all the products in the description box below I'm not using any eyeshadow primer today, so I'm applying some powder to set the foundation and concealer. As a first step, I'm using the Revlon 2-in-1 angled kajal and creating the base. I want to keep the golden color strictly to the center of the eyelid and uh, I want the emerald color to be on the inner and the outer corners. So I'm creating these boundaries as you see. This just makes things clearer and easier. Now I'm using the same kajal on the waterline and the lower lash line. I'm also going to tight line as well. Next I'm filling in the inner and the outer corners with the same kajal and I'm going to blend it. Today I'm working with shimmer powders and I feel that having a good base makes the shimmer powder to stick on something easily and it makes the blending much less messier. I want the center part of the lower lash line to stay golden so I'm applying the bases in the same way. The green color that I'm using is from the Faces Stackable Sparkle Glitter. Wow, I got it right even in the very first attempt. Anyways, I've had this uh, shimmer powders for a long time now and they have never disappointed me. This gold color is from the W7 palette, uh, it's called In The Buff. It's kind of a dupe to the Urban Decay Naked palettes and they have very good pigmentation. Next I'm taking this particular color called Toasted from the same W7 palette and uh, I'm blending in the crease area. It is pretty common for the eyeshadow colors to decrease in the intensity during the process of blending so feel free to add more color and blend. Wing it out, wing it out, wing it out. I'm using the bourgeois eyeliner here. It is very dark and intense and also sets very quickly. I don't want the eyeliner to be too harsh so I am blending it with an angled brush. The final step is to apply some falsies. I've applied the false lashes only at the outer corners. As there has been some fallout with the eyeshadows, uh, I want to clean that up and also brighten the look much more. So I'm using a concealer again. Here I am blending everything again with a clean brush. This just makes everything more fresh. Now that I'm happy with how flawless my face is looking here, I'm bringing in more color with a touch of bronzer and some blush. As the eyes are the main attraction of this whole look, I want to keep the lips a bit understated but not completely flat by using a nude shade. So I'm using earthy tones for my lips and using this lip combo where I'm pairing a matte lip cream with a nude lip gloss so that's it guys that's it for the look now i'm going to head to prema's blog to see what outfit she's gonna wear for this makeup look 
she is my sister-in-law and i've seen her dress and i've seen her shop and i must say she just creates outfits so effortlessly i'm really excited that she started to blog because i'm gonna get some useful styling tips now from a trusted fashionista don't forget to like share and subscribe and also visit frosting in fashion